So here we have an ontology that I've made in the protege tool. Looking first at the class hierarchy, we have two principal subclasses, actor, which is a tangible thing that participates in a process. Actor, I have made subclasses, biological material, analyte, sequencing library, collected sample, data and subject. And process currently only has one subclass, sequencing run. This ontology is represented graphically over here. If we look at the property hierarchy, you can see the various properties and their sub-properties that I've defined. Just draw your attention to the symmetric characteristic of the is associated with property and the transitive characteristic of the is source of property. Also, the super property chains of the is direct source of property and has direct source property. These characteristics and super property chains will add richness to the inferences that we can make on our ontology once we turn on reasoning. So if we look now at some individuals that I've added to this ontology for the purposes of playing with inferencing and querying. There's a couple of subjects here about which I've made no property assertions at all. Two libraries, each of which have one property assertion, which is that they have a source and they have the source of subject one and subject two respectively. I have eight lane level processes, each of which has two property assertions. One is that it has a direct input of a library and a direct output of a lane fastqgz. And this run individual sequencing run is associated with all the lane level processes. So this is a fairly minimal set of individual property assertions. In the next video we'll see what happens when we turn on the reasoner and we can make inferences about things.